hi everyone welcome back to another video welcome back all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel welcome so tonight's video is going to be a little bit different um i'm going to be doing my own nails because we're still in lockdown in northern ireland and um i believe we're going to be put on for another week <laughs> So all the acrylic that I'm using in this video is from Tia's Beauty. Um, it's a, a product that I saw, it kept popping up on like my Instagram and I thought that I would get it to try and they flow really well. I know I always, when I'm describ describing um, acrylic, I always say it flows really well or it doesn't, but it's the only way that I can like describe it. It just literally flows you can see how easy this is put on you can do larger beads you can spread it down the nail but you all know how much i love glitter bells and definitely glitter bells is right on the money for what you get and what you pay glitter bells definitely has it so especially when you take into like account um glitter bells colored acrylic are they're 28 grams I'm you sure they're 20 yeah they are they're 28 grams and they are 8.95 for color and 9.95 for premix glitter I'm nearly 100% sure but they always have offers on at the minute they've got like 10% on and my local beauty store um or my local glitter bell stock is she actually has 20% off at the minute which is fantastic so um you know they're all helping us out during this lockdown um but the tears beauty is 14 grams and it's 5.95 and i think that includes the vat i will pop all the links down below but yeah so glitter bells definitely definitely is right there with the price point and the volume of product that you get so i'm starting off on my little finger and i'm going in with sunrise which is this beautiful like coral color but could i say it's coral or orange it's just so nice um there is a tiny little shimmer to it you probably can't see it on the video here but hopefully at the end you'll see it um on the pictures so the tips that i'm using i have put on glitter planets easy tips because i absolutely love them now glitter bells do do the tips exactly the same it's called their extreme length tips and they do actually work out cheaper so i the only thing is glitter bell sells out really really quickly and if you have glitter bells and you are running low on your tips then you know that you can always order glitter planets easy tips because they are exactly the same there's no difference i have both and i've compared every single size and they are like twins so yeah as i said earlier this video is going to be a little bit different because i'm just going to keep it in real time i had a request from one of my lovely viewers and um she'd asked me could i do my own nails in real time and here we go she must have been reading my mind because i already had this done and just had to edit it so there you go if there is any videos that any of you would like to see me do just pop them in the comments i might not get to do it you know that week or but i will always remember and i will always get around to doing it for you so moving on to the ring finger and whoopsie i got it wrong at the start of this video and said that i was going to be using all tears beauties um acrylic but I'm not. It's a mixture of Tia's Beauty and obviously Glitter Bells because I've only ordered quite a few of um, the Tia's Beauty and I kind of ordered all the autumn sort of fall colours. So I didn't order anything like the white or their core powders. So for the um, clear and for the white, I'm going to be using Glitter Bells. And as in the little finger, the ring finger is just going to be a full coverage of the snowdrops white. You can see just sometimes the consistency difference between the first nail that I did and the second one. Glitterbell snowdrops white tends to hold a lot of the liquid, you know, when you place it on the nail. So it, it does become quite runny. You really have to drain your brush out, make sure you get all that excess liquid out because as soon as you place it on the nail, if there is any excess liquid that's in your brush, it's going to make that acrylic really, really runny. 
and you can see that because it is quite runny I have really um, put my nail on a downward angle just so that nothing flows into my cuticles and then I'll just go in with my brush and clean everything up. So moving on now to the middle finger and I'm going in with this gorgeous colour, it's called Mink and again it has a very very slight shimmer to it. I can't get over how gorgeous this colour is, it is so pretty and it just flows really really nice. It kind of reminds me a bit of, a bit like the cashmere cover, it's like a cashmere colour um, but it's so much easier to work with. The cashmere cover, oh my goodness it just cures practically as soon as you set it on the nail but this is amazing I absolutely love this and again the mink is going to be a full coverage on the middle finger all the nails that I'm doing with the acrylic they're all full coverage nails of the one colour and then I do go in and do some sharpie nail artwork and some line work as well So I'm just putting a little bit of acrylic just on the side of the nail. Sometimes when you're doing your own nails, you kind of need to be a little bit of a con contortionist when it comes to how you hold your hand to see the whole nail. But sometimes, yeah, you have to um, go back in and add a little bead because when you're doing it on your client, you're actually moving your client's finger from side to side as you're placing your bead. But it's quite hard to do that whenever you're doing your own nails. So moving on to the point your finger and I'm going back in again with that gorgeous sunrise and again it's just going to be another full cover. So as I said at the start this video is in real time I haven't you know put the speed up or slowed anything down this is exactly um, the speed that I've put the acrylic on the nails.
Again, you can see that, especially when I place this cuticle bead, that I have my nail pointing downwards. So I'm letting gravity work with the acrylic so that it's not going to go in and flood the cuticle area. So onto the thumb again and I'm going back in with that gorgeous mink colour. So the thumb when you're doing your own nail I, I always think is the hardest one to do because of the shape you have to hold your hand because I don't like to put it on sideways because then you're not getting a good view you know or, or you can't really see if you're putting it on symmetrical so yeah I become a contortionist whenever I'm doing my thumbnail. Again, as this is a real-time video, I'm just going to let you go ahead and watch the acrylic being um, applied. And then I'll come back once I've applied this gorgeous mink to the, th um, the rest of the thumbnail.
So now that I've got all the coloured acrylic put on, I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to cap them in clear and I'm using glass slippers from Glitter Bells. Usually when you're working with any um, coloured acrylic, they're not strength powders. So you do always have to or usually have to go over with a clear acrylic just to give them the strength. They're very, um, they're very, very light whenever you're, you're buffing over them. It's almost like they are really soft, they haven't fully cured and you can literally buff them right off the nail without even, you know, applying a lot of pressure, especially around the cuticle area. Yeah, so just by going over with that little coat of clear acrylic, it just saves your colour and stops you from buffing into it. And as this is a real time video, I'm not going to show all the nails being capped in clear because they're all capped in exactly the same way. And this is just a quick picture of the acrylic before I go ahead and file it. So I'm using my Glitter Bells metal board file and I've used the 180 grit refill and the 100 grit refill. I absolutely love these files. They're amazing for getting those really, really straight edges and um, a really, really straight free edge. So when I'm doing my filing routine, I always start at the side walls and make sure they're nice and straight. And then I go to the lower arch and make sure they're nice and straight, followed by the free edge. Once I have all that done, I'll go to the cuticle area and make sure they're all buffed in nice and flush. And then I'll go across the rest of the nail, just taking out any obvious lumps and bumps. And I'm always filing up towards the apex area because that's where the height and the stress point of your nails are. So you don't want to buff that away because your nails will then become weak. And when I'm happy with the shape of the nails, I will always finish off with my buffer. And because this is a real time video, I'm not going to show all the nails being um, filed in shape just to keep the length of the video down. So I'm going to go ahead and let you just watch me filing this nail and then I'll come back once it's all been done.
And here is another quick picture just of me um, showing you the nails. They've all been filed and shaped. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply my top coat. So anybody that knows me has watched a lot of my videos, you always know if I'm going to be doing any artwork or anything on the nails, I will always apply a matte top coat. So to do the marble look on this snail, I'm going to end with my Sharpie pens and then I'll add some alcohol and that will give it that marbled ink look. There's not really any particular way to do this. I'm literally just alternating the colours and just working my way down the nail. And then I'm just going to take a fine brush. It's um, just a little art brush. It's not, you know, detailer brush or anything. And I'm just placing some alcohol just in the centre of that and spreading it out a little bit to make it look like ink. So sometimes it can be a little bit of trial and error, you know, if you go in and the colours are kind of all blending together or you've put too much ink on, you can always go back in like I'm doing and just adding a bit more of the Sharpie pens.
so I do eventually become sort of semi happy with the marble that I've created and once I've done that I'm going to go in with some white nail art gel and I'm just going to paint a pattern onto one of the nails it's going to be on the pointer finger and then I'm going to go ahead and do a marble on top of the white gel Firstly, I'm just doing the outline of the pattern that I want to do and then I'll go ahead and fill the pattern in with the white gel and cure it for 60 seconds. So I have went ahead, I have already cured the white gel and I applied my matte top coat. So now it's ready for me to go in again with some more of the Sharpies and do that marble again.
And again, now that I'm happy or semi-happy with the marble that I've created, I'm going in with this little brill jerk, brill bird, <laughs> I can't even say that there. This little brill bird, uh, it's like a metallic paint, um, a metallic lacquer, and it just dries, it just air dries. It doesn't um, dry under a lamp or anything, but it is so metallic and it's just perfect for doing the outline of this marble. On the nails that I did the marble design, I decided to go in with a gloss top coat rather than um, a matte and I've just kept the solid colour nails um, matte and I just think that it works really, really well with this set. And just to finish the nails off, I'm going to go ahead on a few of them and just apply some gold studs and then I will come back at the end.
and here is the finished set guys i hope you've enjoyed the video in real time if you have give it a thumbs up and i will see you all in the next one so take care see you soon bye